Hi, I'm Martha Pullen and I'm so happy to welcome you to our Serger classroom today. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you one of my closest friends and business colleagues, Kathy McMakin. Kathy is Executive Vice President of Martha Pullen Company and everybody knows that she is the Serger Queen. Kathy, welcome to the classroom. Well, thank you, Martha. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. Let's well, show them some things. Oh, we're going to have some beautiful things. Kathy, this beautiful pillow. Now, tell Tell me this was not totally made on the serger. This was totally made on the serger, absolutely. Um, in the center of this pillow, you see this uh, strip of puffing, and then we have uh, some bridging on each side of that, some embroidered insertion, and then these are serger tucks. They're just a roll hem with a decorative thread, and um, very beautiful, and then we've gathered our ruffle on the serger um, right after we put our lace on the edge. So easy, easy, easy. I love it, I love it. You know, I like easy, that's one of our, oh, yes. one of our and Kathy, these serger quilts have been so popular. They really have, and um, it's really a quick and easy thing to do. And if you'll notice in all the blocks, we have different blocks um, of this uh, nine block right here in the center. And um, of course, each of the corner blocks are the same, and then the middle blocks are the same, and then we've done something different in the center. But this is a great way to practice your techniques because the parts and pieces are very small. And so if you, um, just feel like you need a little bit of practice, but you don't want to throw those pieces away when you're finished, a quilt is a great thing to put them in. Well, I think that's beautiful. Can I ask you, after you really get to know how to do these techniques, about how long would it take to put something like this together? Um, this quilt would probably take very close to maybe three hours from start to finish. That would also include the cutting. So. Well, that's exciting in itself since everybody is so busy. Oh, Kathy, this is my favorite thing from Martha Pullen Serger Licensing yes. Class. Yes. Tell Isn't us about it beautiful? this. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, this is a christening gown that's completely done on the serger, aside from just a few little tacking stitches, and we'll talk to you about that a little later on, um, that will be done with your sewing machine or by hand. We do it by machine. But um, if you'll notice, it's very lovely. The pieces are beautiful that we work with with heirloom sewing by serger. Um, so we just need our serger to um, create that beautiful roll hem on all all those seams and there you have it. Um, this gown will probably take somewhere around eight hours and this wow. is one of our favorite projects in our serger licensing. This um, gown is in our serger licensing that we do with them. Oh the, my goodness. Oh, cute little diaper bag. Isn't that a cute little bag? That's just for Sunday school so that you can put a couple of diapers in there and, um, and you know, bottle. things and a bottle <laughs> and other things that you might need. But, um, you know, it's not a very big bag, but it certainly would come in handy for those very special occasions when you're not going to be gone for very long. Um, so you can see the techniques on there or, you know, the piece are just uh, beautiful and, and very easy to construct. And quick. And quick. <laughs> Um, serger day gowns um, truly take a couple of hours to complete and so it's a great thing for um, baby presents and things like that. So you can see this one looks, uh, we made this one a little bit plainer so that it looks more like a little boy's day gown. So, You know, Kathy, these are wonderful for dolls too. Oh, absolutely. Quick to make absolutely. serger gowns yes, for those that absolutely. have baby dolls. Um, this is an adult collar, very, um, very simple technique actually, but um, very beautiful. We get a lot of comments on that particular collar when it's hanging on a wall or in, a, in our classroom, so we love showing that one. This is one of my favorites. Uh-oh, let me get it put together. Okay. Okay. Um, this is a little serger nightgown, and um, this also takes a couple of hours to complete, and your straps are also done with the serger. And um, so we have uh, some more laces, embroidered insertions, tucks, um, the little bows tied on the front certainly add that little accent of color and sweetness, and um, so it, it's just very easy to complete, extremely. And you know what, Kathy, I bet this could also be done into a camisole, too. Oh, absolutely, a absolutely. A little shorter it, it to is, wear under exactly your exactly what that is. It's just a long camisole. And we love this. Yes. This pattern is from our lovely lingerie book, and um, this is also completed totally on your serger. And if you'll just look kind of a big overview of the whole entire 
thing. You can see it's just a camisole uh, style, actually, and um, then a little uh, tap pants to go with it. So very easy. Lovely lingerie again. Now these two, now and I'm we'll show these, these at the same time. We just okay. want you to see okay. these kind of um, big. Um, these are the exact same patterns, and a lot of people think that you cannot use a winter-type fabric with heirloom sewing, and you can. Uh, the one, um, the floral one, is done with flannel, and it surges beautifully. It rolls hem. It, the roll hem on there is also very lovely. And um, then the blue one is out of batiste. So out of the same pattern, you can have um, a pajama set for summer and a pajama set for winter. Made very quickly. Made very quickly. Kathy, I am so excited that you're here. Kathy has so many techniques to share with you. We are both excited that you're here. And next, Kathy has some threading and preparation ideas.